Okay, so um, let's start. And maybe that's as yesterday, we can do directly to the going through on, on exploring the jobs and then talking about it, how we see or other things that you have noticed, especially like, you know, techniques that you have developed in browsing jobs and quickly reducing your time in terms of observation of the job details, um, as well as also exploring the different aspects of it in such a way that, you know, it's not just you are looking at it from one angle, just from application only, but also from assessment side of the job, um, from learning aspects of it, as well as from imagining working on it side as well. So I think that's, you know, hopefully it's getting clearer why LIP is there. It's just much more to, it's to facilitate that, to so that you are applying, you are upskilling, and um, at the same time you are increasing also the, basically the target. Like this, and within the advertisement side, it means targeting the right types of jobs instead of just casting a much bigger, like, I mean, this is, so we want a lot of jobs, but we want to increase also the number of jobs that actually match to us or suitable to us. So, and it's about the technique to, first is to get the jobs and, and be ready mindset, and hopefully that you have that. And second of is techniques to, to be able to absorb as much as possible from, you know, the, the job presentation. So that means whatever you are reading. So it's for that reason, I want like people to be willing just to, you know, let's consider this one be, to be a game and just show us how you play. You know, it's much more make it interesting by commenting on how you do. For example, yesterday was, uh, I think Japanese and uh, Abdu was they, they were telling us, uh, Abu Bakr uh, was telling us, showing us actually how they were playing. So let's go, and also I think uh, there was, was that too early? Yeah, so let's let's do it. And I think it was hopefully a learning for everyone. So today just other people, I'd be willing just to take us through. And also other updates, if you want to update or if you have questions, you can also do it. Yep, Abu Bakr. Okay, good morning. So, morning. is is the profile? Uh, it's update? working. It's working. Yeah, okay. yeah. You can maybe just because the you know maybe why not present it and just edit and see immediately. Okay, I'll check it out. Thank you. No, no. Maybe just can you present just so that like just for that aspect? Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, after that one day, you would go next. Absolutely. I mean, this is probably the simplest ask, right? Um, and there are many people here. I mean, maybe that you are, some of you joined like in a different device and stuff, it's, it's fine. Even if it's just a mobile, you can share with it. It's just, yeah, okay. So let's imagine just this one, like you can this also update okay. this one. I mean, let, let's say no, let, let's update with that one, and then you can update next just to, to test it, and then you instead of adding more now, let's say okay. just like. And then you can refresh. I don't think it's no. working. Uh, no, I mean, is it? Did you log in today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you logged into this. So, I mean, I don't understand why it's not working. Uh, it should work. <laughs> um, 
like it must work so maybe just can you put your phone and just let's see if it's uh shall i use another browser or no i think it's it's just it's, it's if it says it so did it show you maybe it didn't show you any when yeah. you say update it didn't show you any any yeah yeah so that's maybe the worrying part okay so maybe log out and log in just for the sake of okay. maybe that it was updated after um okay so shall i clear the just, cookies yeah i mean yeah which uh, i think maybe okay. just log out and log in just okay. out of purely being on the safe side so if you go to profile at the profile Uh, so, so that's because of the it's remembering uh, yeah um just let's wait what's going on uh, this was extensively tested um let me just ping the front end team just to join let me try with chrome yeah yeah and okay. okay so if this is something got to do with the browser yeah so in the meantime other people can you just check as well if you can update i mean it should work it's not so. the browser okay it so it's also work. not working for yeah. you yeah maybe just they didn't update uh, Appreciate the Chrome talking. No, I think he's saying so. Let me just investigate. Just give me a minute as well. One hour ago, it was updated. Okay, I think it's not working. Yeah. Um, let's just let's see if it was. Sometimes, like, the CICD may have failed in the middle so i'm just checking if that is the case because i don't expect um, there is still a bug
So if you just request again, let me see. Because I'm just seeing the log, so. I think it's not working again. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I think I will also just check. I think it's not sending, that's a problem. Um, so Maybe can you expect inspect and we can see the yeah. logs? Yeah, just try to send. No, no, just try to send again and we can see the logs. Okay. Clear it first. Clear the logs first. Shall I accept it? Uh, can you scroll it down? Which one? The looks? Yeah, the, yeah no, the, the, the four. Okay, so you're good. So uh, try to update it. And... Okay, let me add one more thing. Just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, it's not sending at all. Just the yeah. problem could be. Yeah. Uh, okay. For now, uh, what we have to do is just go to edit again. Just click it one and click edit again. Uh -huh. no, I, click I think I think it's again. it's it's okay. No, I think uh, it's let's just fix oh, this one. one. Like, we can work on it. It's maybe just from my side as well. If it's like no, because no, I'm no. seeing four hundred. Uh, I don't think this from your side. Yeah, because the problem is yeah, you have to at least add one of the, the media, just select one. Yeah, it says like that, I think. Yeah. Okay. And okay, then, okay. Uh, this, this has to be link. Copy that and it's okay. Right. and uh, scroll up again that's okay you know uh, there is also contact contact okay okay yeah i should add contacts yeah select one of them mean uh, actually yeah mean it's you have to be your phone number or whatever it is yeah. okay. shall i update it now yeah 
So, oh, there are two errors, I think. Media type. Okay. Yeah. I think it will work now. Just for wait for yeah, now so please just refresh it and you can see. Refresh it, refresh. No, I think something is wrong. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's check let's check this one later. So I think this is yeah, uh, yeah probably like so. Okay. Um. I think that means that the profile update, we just need to get back to you just after this. And but like maybe we can just work on it in the in parallel. And then if there is an update, you will let us know. Okay. okay. okay we're working on it uh, from outside, so we'll yeah. you. Good. I think it, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a last minute um, deployment. So that's maybe the reason. And um, we should be, yeah, we should take lesson from this okay so but uh, other aspects should work so um yeah good um one data yes, yes Liz. good morning morning i i yes i had a question i wanted yeah. to ask oh. Uh, like now, when we when we when let me say when we apply for jobs from LinkedIn, we have to put them on what? We have to put them on 10x. Isn't there like uh, an an easier way to do it, do, or do we still have to always manually type them in? Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunately most companies may not allow you. So maybe can you present? Just okay. Let me, let me, let me share my screen. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. We can see. Okay, yes, so you can if see. you go to if you go to reaction just for the sake of uh, like this so for example go to um reactions so reactions are my jobs just the second uh, icon the second one so that's profile so let's imagine that you wanted to the two that you are interested select them just like from the, okay. the, the left side, just select them. Just select two. Just okay. I select two. Let me select two. So you you can change them back. So it's fine. So just if you select the two, then yeah. So now you can change the apply status there. If you can click, I could change. Oh, I could edit. No, 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 edit is another thing. Edit is just to show what you can, what which which columns you, you see. But apply status. So I could change. I could change this. Can you hear me? Change apply status. Not much status. Yeah, a status. A status, yeah. And then just from interested, if you is that is that not a drop down? Just yes. you can yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So let's imagine you change to um applied or some other. So just find applied. Okay. Yeah. And this should in principle then change it for you, right? So in principle, this is easier. Yes. Okay. So once you apply, like a number of jobs, you can actually go and change, right? So it's yes. uh, like in a way that we simplified at least by that way. But the other part, like 
if you apply somewhere else like if you are saying about the aspect which is yesterday we were discussing where it's not you you are applying for a job that's outside like outside leap then it's yes. again in, in just it's in the test and um, and we were not able to finish but all the things are ready so all you have to do after this would be you just give us a link right just there and then from right there like when you pro when you provide a link you will be able to change uh whether it's because you applied or you you just want to apply and then that would come so the you don't have to leave this space and it's just going to be like copy and paste of a link oh okay 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 i think yeah. so the, yesterday the, the, we, we said it's this this feature is coming and i think you know it's it's there it's just uh we haven't tested it so we didn't put it okay uh, another question i wanted to ask some of the jobs yeah. uh, here like some of the yeah. jobs you like let me say uh, now i could like this job there's, there's a job i liked here oh, this job let me specifically this this job i like this job yeah, yeah. but this was i think thursday yeah yesterday yeah, yeah. but this job the vacancy okay. had already closed for the application for it yeah so i, I i've experienced it with this one I experienced it with that one. There's another one that I experienced with this as well. This one as well. The vacancy also closed. Now the vacancy closed for this one as well. Yeah. Yesterday at around eight, eight, eight a.m. So I thought that may. So if let me say I like a job, but I like this yeah. job. If I like a job, I'm supposed to decide to apply for it really quickly as well. How much apply for it? Should I, should I make up my yeah, mind? It's quickly? it's a very interesting question. Yeah for us sometimes we don't know we don't get the data easily when it's gonna get closed so otherwise we would have of course like to show the just the days we can only see if it sometimes the opening uh, part and we usually if it's already expired if we get that data so like you have to know these things are when it comes from different apis it's just harder but we we try to check if the date is available and a minimum um if, if it has seven i mean some amount of days but if there isn't that date for example uh the closing date at least posted or part of the part of the data then we are unable so i think i would say if you are interested exactly just uh apply for it and we're we're gonna allow again so sometimes you don't have like the score might be influencing like you you know um what's where is it how's that so the score um you can override the score and generate for example i see that the job you like you had a score and it's in the early days the score was 22 so if you want to generate would allow from here just the same as change you can change it from actual so like like or the match status you can just be like generate to it so this would come as well i think it's there sure. it's just me yeah go on yeah so when you super like it we will in principle right now it won't do much the reason is because it's still your score was below certain amount and that, that means it's not generating but we yeah that's one good point if you like jobs and that are below score you can override to generate for it from this window and so we will provide because it's still it's your credit you can play with it as much as you like like so in principle that should be allowed so we will we will do that so that means even if the score you don't it doesn't fit you can still generate assets um yeah okay i just want to ask another question and i'm a learning uh, an analytic engineer this analysis yeah. Engineer, yeah and data engineer the roles are a bit they they're not the, the the roles are similar the difference is that uh this person does more of like the building and the coding this these people do more of cleaning and transformation so yes. they do more sql and then these do more of the python and all that stuff so 
they, they data engineers use more Python. These guys use more. They use more SQL, so it's more cleaning and transformation. So when I was looking at some of the roles, some of the jobs on LinkedIn, I I kept on finding these two roles, and I I wanted to know if if I if I should be able to apply for both roles because it's close yeah. to about it's almost yeah. similar. Yeah. Okay. I think anal analytics engineering is, you know, that was coined with the emergence of DBT, and then now there are many yeah. others, right? So DBT coined with this analytics engineer. It just means writing transformations. So in the ETL, yeah. in the AL, uh, in the ALT framework, that you now have, you don't load, you know, you don't, in the data engineering in general, you do both ETL, ALT, and, and the framework as well, and the, the, the setup, you know, the extraction, like basically the, let's say, the, the science aspect of data, right? And you know, the infrastructure aspect of data, and uh, science in terms of like the uh, the, the long-term aspect of the data and the suitability of the data irrespective of departments, more or less. Like, so I think your description of that, they use more of like codes such as Python, Java, and others is, is correct. In the analytics engineer sense, they should work with very much close to data engineers. I mean, in that, so, and yes. also I think there's, there's a clarity if you are looking at a small size company, you are there is no distinction. I think these things would be a lot more roles become prominent as the company is bigger. Because and yes. if the company is smaller, it doesn't matter. Like it's analytics engineer means data engineer. It means also sometimes even data scientist, and it means sometimes even machine learning engineer. You know, it's like AI engineer too. So depending on the like, if it's a a five person. To up to a 10 person um uh, company i would say there isn't much difference between this you have to you have to be able to do all of it but an analytics engineer is a lot more the target is in the alt framework that you do a lot more of the transformation post loading the into basically the the data so you just really will you should know dbt and other transformation tools a lot more as well as also you should build lots of dashboards um so that's that's what it means okay, okay. Thank so you. i think in principle if you are qualified for one you would be qualified for another for all practical purposes most jobs only in the very very big big areas like companies you might really have to consider because they may have a very clarity what they mean it. So if so, that means a just general rule of thumb is that if the company is so big, think about the role very seriously. If it is a medium or small size company, then it isn't that you know it's okay just to not too much consider the role as 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 a distinguishing factor. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. And. And what about the just jobs? Look, so as you explore, what what's like you know? Can you show us like how you are thinking these days? Or like when I'm only? Yes, when you are like when you are exploring, when you see this job, what do you see, and you know how do you? Oh, go through? when I see this job, I look at this first. I try to treat it as machine learning and software. And machine learning is the first thing that, and I'm like, nope. Then I look at the role. I also look at this mid level, then I, I read through this. Sometimes the responsibilities and the duties, you might like them, you might be able to do them, but then I, I look at the responsibilities and uh, the preferred qualifications. Then I, I, yeah, I look at this, I look at this as well. Yeah, but most times what I do, I've already seen this, so. Uh, the role that doesn't fit what I'm looking for, and then the responsibilities and the attributes. So I'll just, I'll just keep it. Right. I'm going to do this again. Just doing this. Is that because of again another extension, or is it just uh, what we are seeing? 
I don't know. I don't know if yes. it's because of an extension. Yes, this I, is, I have very many. It's with you, uh, the LinkedIn extension. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. until we find a cure for for in those extension interference, just bear with us because I think we have understood that there are a couple of extensions that are interfering with the CSS. Okay, so in, in terms of, okay, so the aspect, I think I, I like that you are clear about what you want. Um, and it's very, but in terms of, so that is what the, you know, one aspect when you are sp spending, of course, one aspect of it is whether it fits me or not. You know, it's like the interest. And the other one is sometimes just being able to, in the social media sense, to just imagine this is just a, you know, a post by a friend, you know, and just what is the friend doing side is one aspect, just to learn about the world, you know, it's like, so in that sense, also, you could just pick something. I mean, like it's, it's not much. Again, this is not, this is much more of a, a suggestion more than anything, but really you can consider this one's like a friend posted and just, you just pick up something, a pattern from their life, right? So even in the software engineering, what do they worry more or what do they, how do they hire? Like if you are just talking to friends, for example, later uh, about like the software engineering jobs versus the data engineering jobs, you should be able to pick up some patterns as well. So maybe even if you don't want to just checking what actually are they hiring for, um, normally the purposes, what they do and what they are actually, what they are in the duties could be something you just pick up. You don't have to read as much, but just pick it, keep picking up like some pattern. So that, that could be a suggestion. Yeah, it's a good suggestion, but I, just, I think for software engineering, I have, a, I have a friend of mine. She's also, she's doing some applications. So when I okay. pick on something, I always, I tell her, but then I wanted to ask, does this work? Not does yet. This, does this work? Oh, okay. Not yet. I kept on trying to use it. Yeah, okay. not yet. Yeah. So it, it would, it would okay. in principle, it would in principle work. Most of these things, the features will be there. Um, yeah, but right now, no, I think. Okay, good. And so you're not, in terms of like, I think that we just saw that the profile is still not the, but I would say when you see that the score is low, it means also your profile, even if now we generate asset for you or like what you call um, the CVs and cover letters uh, in principle. So I think we will just communicate with that. I would say you should go and update some of the skills or at least, you know, um, influence because just because it is not, um, it's not there or the, the score is low, you shouldn't take it like that one to be the, you know, the correct one. It means like we might get it wrong and we most likely get it wrong. So you should influence it. So in the skill section and the bio section, you can come and edit to influence what is actually, you know, from once you see a generated CV and something is not appearing, for example, phone number, you don't want it to appear, it's fine. But if it doesn't, if it's, if it doesn't appear in the CV and you want it to be appear, so you come and edit it. And if there are work experiences, the as much you list the work experience, the better it is, right? Because the thing is, we pick up only two or three, but we pick up the relevant one. The same in projects. If you can just put almost every like project that you have done, that's better because we will pick up a few, um, and and we will pick up the relevant ones. So for us to pick up the relevant ones, we have to have like all of your project experiences as well, just listed. So that's one, one technique to, to be able to generate really suitable selection from the list. Okay, good. Yeah, one day I'll go. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to ask a question. It, let me say yeah. if I do, projects on my own that are not necessarily yeah. from Channel Academy. Like yes. if I do some, yeah. So can I, can I put those projects? In Absolutely. My Every project, 
I mean, you can't do in LinkedIn, you can't do here. It's like, I think, yeah, the more you list, the better it is. You know, it is, okay. it's, it is really, there isn't harm in listing projects that you have done. It's just, it's a matter of time. So I would say, okay. the you know, just narration is important. And for narration, you need, you know, we need to have enough of those, even if like you've done them in the university, you know, for your graduation, or if you have done them for, like, I don't know, as a project with friends, just list them so that they will be able to, you know, we'll be able to pick, you know, to show relevant ones. Okay, good. Anyone else then want to go and just take us through with three jobs that they, you know, you don't have to even talk sometimes. You just can show us like how you explore and what is, you know, techniques you have developed so far. Dereje, can you do that? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, yeah, that's on my side. I think uh, maybe it's said just uh, this one, 30 out of 10. I don't know how I say it. That's interesting. And, uh, and also, just for example, when I, I think when I do this one, and uh, maybe it says a score is 80. So, sorry, what did it say? I think, for example, uh, the match score is right. When the match score is uh, is above sixty mark, so sixty uh, percent, so uh, the material or the CEO cover letter is just uh, generated automatically, right? So, but it is the score is just uh, is it is it. A yeah, it was up, it's not updated. No, no, I think it was not updated. So those tooltips uh, were not consistently updated. In in principle, it's at sixty. So that's yeah, good. That's a that's a, an issue. Just that we should fix. Like it's not like I think in the past it used to be eighty, and one of them were updated, and the other didn't. So good. Okay. So and uh, just. The first one, just when I come to here, just I see the the road, the first one. So machine learning uh, engineer. So maybe it is, if it is okay, then I come to here, just thumbs up. And also I look the this one, the mid senior or entry level. And also then based on that, just I click on thumbs up and uh, and the other one is responsibility. So just I roughly look at this and uh, just I am trying to just pick one, which one, which maybe I interested on. Then if it is OK, so I go to pass to the next one. For example, just develop and maintain data pre-processing pipeline, machine learning model, and implementing phrase structure. So, yeah, I'm interested in this, and uh, so this uh, job is fitted me, and uh, I go to this one, and also I'm looking to the requirement part. So it is maybe, yeah, two plus years relevant experience. Yes, I have, so, and uh, yeah, mostly I am looking for here this, and then just um, write, uh, do thumbs up. Requirement skills, um, yeah, I, I require attributes. So I also just some skills, 
that related to machine learning that mentioned on this on record qualification. So based on that, I thumbs up and then just pick interest. So, so you can still super like, you know, it's the two rates, you know, sometimes I think we from even the design perspective, we had an issue what we mean by super like versus like. It, the, that aspect of like or super like should a lot more irrespective of the assets. It should be about your your interest of the job, if you really, really want it or not. And then the next item it influences is of course um, the whether it generates or not. But you should be first thinking of it irrespective of the scoring. I don't know what's going on there. So irrespective of the scoring, you should be actually um, you should be actually saying that I am I super like this job or I like this job. And then the second let it be that the, how it influences your asset generation should be the next one, right? Okay. So it, okay. You can go to so, the, my jobs and let's see. Yeah. And the good thing about this is that even if now that job is not recorded, it will come back. So if there are, you know, it's, uh, but if it's recorded, you will see it here. Um, maybe it's I, just. Uh, I think it yeah. is my internet, maybe. Okay. So, yeah. And also just on on this page. Yeah, if you refresh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it is not come here, right? Yeah, so you can yeah, you can react again to it. Okay. So if you like it, for example, if you really want it, just show us by super like. So forget about the asset when you when you like or super like or skip. And only consider the match, whatever more for you know whether I, I am matched or not aspect. So because that way when it will influence a lot more this is the emotional state so to describe it those three icons supposed to give you that your reaction about you know about the job not about the asset or every other thing so i would say if you are yeah like it you're not sure something great like is there super like means that you actually um yeah you want this job you know whether asset is generated or not Okay, so I think it is time now. Yeah, and uh, so maybe when I just try to expand, yes. mostly said just uh, you have no job details at the moment, it's for all. So yeah, I, refresh it. I think just maybe that. Sometimes I think this caching aspect, what happens is that. Um, maybe, can I do maybe in private? So that you are looking for your reaction, right? Because yes. earlier you were, yeah. Um, so for yeah. all, like it is not working for list. Let me. No, I think just uh, okay. So I think okay. I mean, now we know the reason. I think the earlier update didn't go through, so that's why all of the fix from yesterday didn't go through. Um, and I think that's after just like this call, we will just again um, propagate. Because most of this has been fixed, and it's just uh, that unfortunately it didn't, it didn't update the the CICD didn't finish, and it broke in the middle. So then you do you basically from yesterday you nothing has changed. 
that in principle that expansion and all that will will um, will work uh, okay. okay so so from from the yeah it's like if the if you go to the leap side so was that generated or not okay. you know just the yeah so okay I think it is generated. Yeah, it's generated. Okay. So I think here also, just as as you look at your CV, and if you if you wanted to add some elements, um, like including certificates, I mean, you seem to have really you have to put you have put all your certificate. That's great. But maybe if you have awards and achievements that you didn't put, that's something that I would say consider adding in your either LinkedIn in your LinkedIn and then um, upload it, um, or just you can edit it here as well. So it's it's good to look into your CV each generation and try to add because the CV is basically a, you know, a makeup of your whatever is in your prof in your profile combined with the jobs. Uh, element so you can always always just look at these things i think what the way that you are using leap is exactly the way that i would have of course i had in mind as well so which is good like that means for everything you see you kind of react to it by like or not and that gives you kind of you're recording your emotions there and if you like let's say three out of something then you know this is maybe your so why we force you to give comment feedback is much more of as a not taking you know so that's the design principle was it's like you go something you check it you, you say something you check it and then already if you have an objective feeling of like whether it's super like or like because if you like all then you know then it's probably super like but if there are things that you have like thumbs down maybe that's just if it's the majority is you like, then it's like. But if there are the majority is not like, then it's probably skip, right? So yeah, get that job. Okay, hello. Hello. Uh, I uh, I just want to ask some one question. There are scenarios when we have different jobs, but uh, these assets are not generated, so. Are we having any option that we can go through to get the assets, or uh, what are yeah. we going to when these situations are? Yeah. So I think there are a number of options you have. One is that you you know the field, the area that job is, and you already have maybe an asset that's generated for that area. And I would say that's the easiest. You can use that one in a way that is that reflects, right? and another one is of course you can just copy from that and edit it just on overleaf i would really assume that and we'll share today all of the styles uh the latex styles and so if you are all in the overleaf you'll be able to actually you know you should use them and edit them as as you want um but another one that we will add is that while if as long as you are still like you know not more than 10 in a way, I'm not sure why it's 30. I think it must be. I don't understand even how it comes there because it's just a database query uh, that's 30 to 10. Um, but when when you have still credit, you can also, even if the score is low, you can still use that credit after reacting. You know, automatically it might not, but you can go to the 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 list of jobs or uh, I usually call them reactions, but just it's my jobs, right? So the my jobs um, uh, table, and then you can go and change it, and you can generate asset generate for it. We just didn't allow it. I mean, it's it's hidden in the U, in the UI, but it's actually implemented. So we'll probably activate that one because I think, as I said, for me, a lot more of the first step was to make sure that you look at your match, and the match reflects. You know, the match really controls every generation. Right, whatever is in the match is what we are generating because the match was done based on your profile and the job profile. So if you, it's to allow you to correct the match such that uh, I think by correcting that match or by correcting your profile, you'll be able to really align yourself and you, you can get more, you know, um, 
more higher scores and then that means also true reflection of you like and so and then after that we wanted to activate that so even if the score is now different you can actually then go and generate asset to it so this will come but for now i would say um i mean for now i mean then in the just today not for next week you can use if there is already assets that are generated or you can use maybe just the, the cv that you have already you know you have prepared and just apply with it does that uh, does that answer yeah 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 uh okay for the liquid uh, numbers 31 to 10 i think uh, the database is not uh, reading every day uh, 10 is uh, the credit that we have each day so the liquid ones are counting from the first day to uh, today, I think. Yeah, no, so but I, thing... it's, it's it's not true because I mean I, we have introduced um, that it should only count the day, so that's why. And I think it, it, I mean I haven't. In my case, yeah. in yeah. my case too, it's the same to the regis. It's counting so it's from, just the first day. Okay. from the first day. Okay, it's not resetting. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's yeah. So because the the logic I can tell you what it happens. So. In between you and the database, there is Redis. And then the Redis one, every time you react, so in the reaction code, the reaction code updates two things. One is your stat, so it sends the, the recomputed stat to the Redis, it refreshes. And then, of course, um, like that. So if it is super like, so sometimes I think, yeah, what happens is now I understand the background tasks, like asset generation is a background task. So it it's probably not maybe reflecting that um, because we want to return very quickly because asset generation takes time. So it's actually then uh, scheduled for for generation, and maybe in those times you might have some conflicts and then this this may cause. But yeah, so the the logic is that it should only count the leaped ones should only be counted only for that day that particular day. Um, so we'll we'll see. Yeah. Okay. But um the RJ, that's I think that's great. And the I think earlier, as I was explaining, the way that you are doing it is for me really is just how we design. So it's we probably you you aligned exactly with what we do. The the part, the rating, you can think of it as a not taking. It's much more yeah. like, yes, you are doing it that way, and so that's great. And maybe others that the pattern there might be useful just as a way of objective analysis of the um, the job if you want but any other thing as well any pattern you discover you know you that works for you is also great but this way of like i look at all the header and if i like the header then i do something and i i look at the like the roles and responsibilities and then i would just be like okay it's fit then i do that so that pattern in terms of exploration pattern is will give you will probably make it easier as well as you go on because that that's that's a, think of it that's a knot you're just taking a knot on the right um as you explore so good okay and in terms of jobs in terms of jobs that are coming to you like because i see that you have uh, react yeah you have been exploring so what's your feeling so far Okay, in terms of job, mostly just it comes data data science. So, but I don't know the reason. And also there is also a machine learning uh, jobs. So uh, that's what is this, that is what I'm looking for. And the, I don't know generative AI jobs. Is not it's not coming. Um, almost <laughs> there is no generative AI jobs. So I don't know the reason. But, but maybe maybe explore like as I I, I think one like one um, challenge I would give you. Can you just finish them? Can you explore? I mean, we don't have infinite jobs. It's probably two hundred or something jobs. So can you explore all of them and right. and see? Because I think sometimes you know this. If you count the total and if we trust the number, you only reacted something. 29 about 31 jobs um so if in print and then there might be some skipped ones so it's like yeah i don't know how many you skip probably that plus skip 
But if you finish them, maybe that you will see. Like, and ev because every day there was going to be new jobs. So you can finish them. So, you know, let, let me give you a challenge. Over the weekend, just finish. So by Monday, there shouldn't be, I mean, there, of course, like we will add every day. So that's just, uh, that's it. But that you have finished, you have explored enough that, let's see if if that the diversity of those types the data science data engineering ai ai engineering ones you know which ones are more like from your your perspective okay great yeah i will do that and uh, the other one is maybe if if there is a feature uh, like uh, for example if I'm going to search on just jobs on linkedin so that's uh, might interest in me so maybe can i put a link to this and then just generate cover letter and uh cv yeah maybe yeah so that, that's coming i think as we were talking that's coming so if you have a job so there will be yeah so that that will come i think next from next week monday on definitely you will be able to put the job link and then you can either just say i've already applied or i just want to apply so if you want to apply or interested, then what it does is that it puts it as, as your card. So, and then when it comes to you, you can basically, you know, react to it and, and generate whatever, just like any other job, it will come. Okay, great. Yeah. So, yeah, that's on my side. Fantastic. Okay, get at you. Okay, just uh, uh, wondering, can't we add uh, some, criteria for based on our uh, streams or uh, if a training is genai or data engineer or machine learning the, uh, we have our data in our database so that maybe can we can't we map this uh, user profiles in the job yeah. categories we, in, we, we can the... we can but the thing is do you really just only want to get job there or just do you want to get job along in the space you know I'm, I think this, the role is much more of like, I would, I would be less. So in a way that why are you just, why are you not, why can't you be generative AI when you are also interested in data engineering? Like, because as a junior role, why are you, are you so like made up your mind that you don't want to? Some people probably are like that, but most people can really shuffle between, um, different job you know different areas so we will introduce that filtering so which means your preference like so that is being implemented you would say to your preference just don't show me anything that's a role that's um, data engineering right so in that sense we will introduce that one it's just it's just not there yet but the reason why we put everything at first is just so that you can see all of them but if you have already made up yeah great i think you can put, you should be controlling. We should not be controlling that. Absolutely. So the type of jobs that you see, but but from the perspective of like, sometimes a lot of, uh, in the past, a lot, no one I know got a job as much based on what they, you know, first have. In a way, it's, it's very hard to ensure that you get a job along, you know, already we, what we chose is very specific, right? Which is data engineering, uh, machine learning engineering, and AI engineering. So already that is like a lot in many in many places. It's very much similar. The things people do, and as I said, just because it's medium size and small size companies, most people work. So if you're just so specialized on that you might be narrowing down your 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 chances so i would say still we will we, i think the principle that we have is alliance with you that means you should be in control what you see we should just be only suggesting you know those things don't don't really limit yourself just to one area only because that's that's a very you know that's a very narrower but yes we will we will put that we'll give that framework so that you know on the fly we will just that's what we are doing currently for example when you are contributing so the implementation you haven't seen it but in the implementation when you contribute a job you can take if others can see this job or you don't want other people just to see um and on the fly of course like it's when that job is contributed 
it depending on those things it will if will influence so the same thing on the fly if the job is let's say data engineering will just skip because you you specified yeah i don't want data engineering so we will do that yeah so does that is that what you are asking right yeah that's <laughs> great okay just save um Yes. Um, hello. So my question is uh, on the match score. Yeah. Uh, how does uh, how is the match score derived? Is it derived from the CV or from the LinkedIn profile, or is it also the, derived I mean, from the? By, by I mean, we don't we don't uh, so we don't have CV. I mean, the CV means just LinkedIn profile, right? So the LinkedIn profile, the projects, and all that. But it's that one is for much more of we don't control, you control. So we don't generate it. All of your 10 Academy training has been translated in terms of the skills. So actually this, the name is wrong. Again, it's competencies. So we have 16 or so competencies and all of your data is converted into that. So each competency then have different skills inside it. So that's, um, so it's computed with that. Every, all the jobs are then translated jobs are translated into requirements of competencies and the level of competencies that are required the behavioral as well as the knowledge and skill competencies and then that is matched to your competency so this that's how it's done so you unfortunately you can't change much other than allow us to see some of your competencies that we didn't see for example, if you know by uploading projects that you have done, you can change your, uh, of course, your as your, you can change it um, because we we verify it. The skill part is very needs verification. Every other thing doesn't need verification. Does that does that give you clarity? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. Okay. So yeah. So for that reason almost always just you can yeah you can upload your your projects in your resume and you can just say and if the project has a link of course we, we have to see just because you said i have done this project normally it doesn't increase unfortunately your the, the competency level but if you have some code you can send us or if you have just a github link or some work that you actually are attributed or including just you know um a certificate or something that says yeah this person completed this or something then we will be able to change that right so because this the skill part is what we want to make sure that you know that is not just otherwise the match will be just keyword you know if, if we just were to use your just the words then it would be keyword match and keyword match is not interesting it it's the actual you know ab ability match that is actually um for us the interesting match that means what you are able and what the job is requiring and that match in an actual sense is what is currently yeah what the algorithm is trying to do yeah okay okay great i think then there might be interruption for the next maybe 10 15 minutes uh, because we are just going to be pushing back i think the the failed um uh, product, you know push so but post that you will not you will receive in slack and you will see that your your updates should work really without a flow like your profile updates as well as also expand expanding your you, like already what you reacted should work so okay fantastic and yeah have a good friday and we'll see at least with me we'll we'll see again on monday thank you everyone bye